In a landmark decision, the Supreme Court gave its verdict on the abrogation of Article 370, ruling that the President's order to scrap Jammu and Kashmir's special status is constitutionally valid. While some leaders, including Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Home Minister Amit Shah, welcomed the verdict, calling it as a beacon of hope, on the other hand, several other leaders like Omar Abdullah and Gulab Nabi Azad expressed disappointment. So let's have a look into the constitutional evolution of Article 370. I am Shivangi, and you are watching India TV. Article 370 is a constitutional provision granting special status to Jammu and Kashmir. Initially intended as a temporary measure, it shaped the state's legislative landscape, creating a unique relationship between the central government and the region. Contrary to a conventional constitutional relationship, it restricted Parliament's legislative powers concerning the state. The erosion of Article 370 began with the Nehru's acknowledgement in 1963 and continued through various constitutional orders. Notable changes occurred in 1954, including renaming the Constitution Application Order, thus weakening JNK's constitutional autonomy over the years. Article 370's legal framework allowed the president to issue orders for the application of constitution provisions with modifications. The August 5 presidential order extended all constitution provisions to Kashmir, impacting Article 35A and prompting a reconsideration of discriminatory provisions. The Modi government's reorganization of Kashmir's political status addresses historical complexities. It emphasizes the need for political reconciliation within Kashmir and encourages stability in the region. However, the process faced criticism for its impact on due process and potential strains on India's federal system and parliamentary democracy. Bifurcation and downgrading statehood without assembly deliberations raised concerns about the social fabric. In conclusion, the Supreme Court's verdict marks a significant chapter in India's constitutional history. For more updates on the same, keep watching India TV.